thanks uh, everybody for coming. Uh, Damon will have some, uh, some opening remarks. Uh, he will be able to take a limited number of questions, but I do remind you that uh, because of the pending case, there's going to be some things he uh, may not be able to answer. We need to uh, refer to uh, police agencies. Thank you, Claude. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for coming out today uh, under some very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, I wish we were not here at this time. But I sit before all of you today very ashamed and embarrassed by my actions. Uh, I let this university down. I let my family down. I let those in the Bulldog Nation down. I let so many people down that have supported me and believed in me along the way. My behavior, my actions, were not indicative of what we teach our student athletes at the University of Georgia. My goal has always been to represent this institution in the utmost fashion. Unfortunately, I failed at that. I failed miserably. And when I sit back and I look at things, all I can do is move ahead and learn from these mistakes. I like to look at mistakes as opportunities in disguise. This is an opportunity for me to learn about myself, for me to take a look at myself in the mirror and size up who I am as an individual. Right now, I have some shortcomings. I think that's part of life, to have shortcomings. But also know this, I owe it to all of you in this room. I owe it to our fans. I owe it to Dr. Adams, who stood by me through this very, very difficult time. I have had conversations uh, with him. I understand the predicament that I have put him in. Uh, I believe and will always believe what should be done is what is in the best interest of this institution. Uh, I do feel like my actions have put a black cloud over our storied program, one of which I never thought in my years here at the University of Georgia that I would bring such shame to this magnificent institution. I've got a lot of soul searching. I've got a lot of thinking to do. I've got to take a step back and pause and say, Damon, you've got to get back on track. You've got to set an example. You've got to be the leader that you talk about being. You've got to be the role model for the student athletes that come through this institution that you say you are. Last night, I was not that. To all the people out there in Bulldog land, it's going to take a while for me to earn your trust back. And it should. And I don't know if I ever will. But what I can say is that I will do everything in my power to make you believe in me once again. I'm back to ground zero. I've got to build. And I'm going to have to build one step at a time. I'm going to need the help of you in this room. I'm going to need the help of family and friends. And speaking of my family, I have to mention family because they are the most important thing to me. Uh, I brought shame to them. I have two lovely children, Cameron and Kennedy. I have a beautiful wife who is going through a lot right now, uh, which haunts me and troubles me. And when you have such deep feelings and love for someone and you hurt them, as you all know, it's something that's hard to take. And I've done just that. But I've hurt everybody. I simply want to end by saying I sincerely apologize for my actions. I hope that you'll find it in your hearts to forgive me. What I say here is coming from the bottom of my heart. I'm an individual who made a grave, grave mistake, one that will be with me for the rest of my life. But it has to be one, and I will have to turn it into one, that will teach me a lesson. 
So again, I apologize to the Bulldog Nation and to all of our fans and supporters. And I want to say specifically to Dr. Adams, the administration, appreciate what you've done. Appreciate you standing by me. My staff, our coaches, our senior staff, all of our staff that's in this room, thanks for being here. I've been given a lot of support uh, through emails and text messages, but at the same time, I've taken a beating and deservedly so. So again, I humbly apologize. Okay, I'll take just a few questions. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Dr. Adams response to the conversation? Uh, Dr. Adams is uh, supportive. I think he's going to let things play out. Uh, he has to do what is in the best interest of this institution. Uh, he told me that. I told him I agree with him from that standpoint. Uh, he knows I made a mistake, a serious mistake, understands that. Uh, I believe that Dr. Adams wants to work through that with me, but at the same time, I think it depends on how things play out. Uh, if I bring too much shame or embarrassment to this institution, uh, no telling what may happen, but uh, Dr. Adams has been very good to deal with thus far. And, uh, are you saying that uh, your faith, like a better word, in terms of the disposition staff, like undetermined at this point? I, I'm not going to get in that, Chip. I, I just know this. I know that there are policies and procedures at this institution. I know that uh, what I did is uh, very, very serious. Uh, and I think that when even me in a position when I have to deal with stuff like that, you have to take a step back and look at it and see where we are and if we can move forward uh, with said individual. And I, and I think that's the appropriate thing to do. What was your uh, relationship to uh, Ms. Uh Just a friend. Do you feel like uh, you deserve to keep your job as a play coach? Uh, my, my desire is to keep my job. Uh, I want to be here at the University of Georgia. I love this institution. Uh, this is my alma mater. I believe that we have a lot of unfinished business here at the University of Georgia, and uh, I will do everything within my power uh, to be a part of this institution, but at the same time, uh, respect whatever comes my way. Damon, did you Damon. offer to resign? Excuse me? Did you offer to resign? No, I have not. What was Herman's involvement with the uh, athletic department? Excuse me? What was Herman's involvement with the uh, athletic department? Did she have any involvement with the None. None. You know, I got a lot of people to meet with. Uh, I do need to address the student athletes. That's going to be something that is uh, difficult, just as it was to address our coaches and senior staff. Uh, I got to find the right time to do that. I, I've got to, I've got to address a lot of individuals. I, I really got to. It, it goes to student athletes. It goes to administration. It goes to board members. It goes to alums. I've got a lot of addressing to do. What was your message to the coaches and staff? Uh, I, first and foremost, I apologize. Uh, I apologize to those individuals because I, I, we're, we're here to support our student athletes and our coaches. That's what my job is as an administrator, to help them be as successful as they possibly can. I always talk about setting the tone and setting the example, and I failed to do that. Uh, so it was an apology. I wanted them to know uh, where I stood. I wanted them to hear it uh, from me personally and uh, know uh, that I have a lot of respect and admiration for what they do, and hopefully that I can uh, be the leader uh, that they would like me to be. Did you consider resigning? No. Why? I have, I, have uh, I, I, should, I should rephrase that this way. I've got a lot of things on my mind. Uh, when you're in a situation like this, you think, you contemplate, I would say here, I want to be at the University of Georgia, as I stated earlier. Uh, I've, I've made a serious mistake, and I'm not taking that lightly, nor should anyone in this room uh, take that lightly, nor should the president of this institution uh, take that lightly. And uh, however that's dealt with, I, I, I got to, as some might say, I, I don't, I, I just got to accept it. I made my bed, and I, and I have to lay in it. Uh, it's an ongoing case, and I've been advised not to, to comment specifically uh, about the case. Okay. 